So what do you consider affordable rent? Affordable housing is a hot topic here in Florida and is often called a crisis. Certainly a percentage of income that you would consider comfortable to spend, but for a lot of folks, that percentage is way too high. We're on your side asking about the price of properties one local legislator says needs to be looked at. Renata DiGregorio joining us here in studio right now with that story. Renata? Good morning. Well, State Representative Angie Nixon made this post on social media, opening up this broader discussion about what is and is not affordable rent. You may have seen these in downtown Jacksonville. They're apartments made out of shipping containers. What caught the attention of Nixon and many others in the comments is that they cost nearly $1,200 for 320 square feet. My reaction was, wow, that's not affordable <laughs> to me, especially with the square footage. State Representative Angie Nixon is talking about container homes on East Ashley Street priced at $3.70 per square foot, more than a dollar more per square foot than other new downtown apartments. But Jacksonville Wealth Builders President Alex Sifakis says for downtown, $1,182 a month, even for a 320 square foot space, is affordable. People don't rent apartments by the square foot, they rent them by the unit. We really believe that this is the most affordable housing in downtown that we're able to deliver. Nearby, a one bedroom, one bath at the Carling is close to $1,400 for 760 square feet. Vista Brooklyn's start at over 1,500 for just under 600 square feet. UNF professor David Jaffe says his research finds corporate landlords are to blame for the affordable rental crisis. You have to get a handle uh, on the institutional investors, the corporate landlords, uh, because they control the supply. Uh, I know people who can find apartments. They can't afford them. Sifakis disagrees. It's not corporate landlords that are that are driving up home prices and, and rents. So rents are being driven up by market demand because we don't have enough supply. As vice chair of the city's affordable housing subcommittee, Sifakis says he'll work to make Jacksonville an affordable place to live. So one of the parts of the Live Local Act that just went through the legislature is to distribute $700 to affordable housing projects, but Nixon says that hasn't been done yet. Going back, though, to what Sifaka says is he really believes the square footage. People don't really look at that so much as they look at the unit. So let us know what you guys think. You can weigh in with the GMJ hashtag. What do you guys think? I really do want to hear from people, but I, I, I just think it's wherever, wherever you are in life. Me personally, where I am, there's no way on God's green earth you're going to get me to live in anything that's 320 square feet. No. But I think if you're younger, mm. you're hip, you want to be in the downtown area, it yeah. might work for you. Seems like really paying for the location sort of thing yeah. over there. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a head scratcher. I, you know, if you, if you want to work downtown, but you got to live in the west side or you got to live even further out, you know, um, mm -hmm. different county even, that's a, that's a problem because yeah. now you're not only spending uh, the money to drive and transportation, but you're living out there too, and, and then it all is a big wash. So uh, the solution, I guess, as he said, is more uh, inventory. We'll see.